What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Anime, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's staying safe. Quick little update video for you guys. Lily's video boring me. Bless her. <laughs> so, um, I'm sure a lot of you probably already know this anyway, but the uh, transfer date has been set. Whether that is in stone, who knows? This is Clash of Kings we're talking about, and they always change their mind at the last minute. Um, I thought I'd make a little video and update you guys. But also, I'm actually over in Seals with, uh, doing the science event. Mate, that skin does look pretty good, I have to say. I, and again, I'm not rubbing it in you guys' face because I've seen the comments on the last video, and uh, I know a lot of you have tried to get it. it I mean... <laughs> I just got lucky, I suppose, at the end of the day. But um, I think there's a little bit more behind it, and I've got a couple of videos coming your way regarding that. But I've got to wait till next month to test it. Um, a bit, bit, bit skeptical about this game, but anyway. So, um, 22nd of September is the transfer date. By the way, I will also mention to you guys out there, if you haven't already, you should be joining the Discord group. Always over there chatting about the game, learning, having a laugh. It's very chilled out. Not just that, but there's also a lot of people over here that are transferring, looking for teams, our teams. You never know. You might add some people to your friends list, find another team, find a new kingdom, new friends, whatever. Feel free to come and join us. A lot of you have asked me what I'm doing. <laughs> That's a fucking good question. Um... I don't like to say too much because at the end of the day, I know people watch my fucking videos. I'm not stupid. Um, but I talk a lot of shit in Kingdom Chat as well. So all I can really say is you should never really take anything I say seriously because, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I've been invited to multiple kingdoms. I've got plenty of invites and I do really appreciate all of them. Thank you ever so much. But I haven't made my mind up yet. You're better off asking Syl. She's the gatekeeper, unfortunately. Um, so what I wanted to do... So that's basically what I'm doing. I don't know yet. I'll let you know. Things happen. This is what I'm saying. Like, transfer is stupid, right? Because I hate just making... Setting things in stone. Because at the end of the day, shit can always change it. And shit always does change at the last minute. Do you know what I mean? So I never know. I might just get an invite from someone who I really wanted to go and play with. And boom. Or just totally find somewhere and go and invade somewhere or maybe i'll just stay here and terrorize the fuck out of pyr because of you know i know seal wants to farm tox so uh who knows but anyway get off that subject so come join the discord make some new friends never know you might find yourself a new team to go with um but this is from actually clash of kings so basically we all know that september oh, i'm not gonna read all of this ushers in the transfer and what they are saying is this time there is an official here to help you. So they've probably got one or a few people, or maybe a team. And what you can do, I'd be very sceptical about this, by the way, um, is give them all of your details. So you know what, right? Reading through this made me laugh because if you come down here to option number three or bullet point number three, right? It says recruitment requirements. So you could set out, for example your recruitment requirements of what you'd ex what you'd expect people to have for them to come and join your kingdom or your team, right? But the funny thing is, they put an example, right? And they put, as an example, required both offensive damage and offensive damage reduction, 500. 500. I, I don't even know if anyone's really that... That's a lot. Like, I know I'm just picking holes and Clash of Kings because I like doing that, but... Seriously, like sort it out, mate. Or single unit eight hundred, you know, eight uh, HP eight hundred or above. So basically, they're saying is that you can forward all your details, uh, your WeChat phone number, WhatsApp game nickname, kingdom, bra size, fucking bank account details, national insurance number. If you send them everything that you own, then they might be able to hook you up with a team. But I wouldn't because they'd probably sell your fucking details quicker than they'll take your money in this fucking game so i'd be a little bit skeptical about this that's just my opinion at the end of the day um but like i said even if you don't join you don't want to join my discord look on facebook uh, i hate to say this clash of kings do have also a discord and there are many other you actually i don't think there are 
Okay, I might be lying when I say that bit, but like there are uh, some other Discord groups out there. It's always good to join them, you know, make new friends, whatever, and just expand your, uh, uh, what am I looking for? Expand your options at the end of the day. But uh, I think you should just come and join mine. It'd be the best thing to do. But other than that, so it's on the 22nd or on or around there. Again, Clash of Kings may change it. Um, I will be making videos closer to the date and obviously covering the rules. But I think it's probably going to be basic standard stuff. Um, no traveling with skins unless you've got 70 or higher. Um, you know, base power, qualifying and stuff like that. Let me know if you guys are transferring, where you're going, what you're doing. Link for the Discord will be down below. Stay safe and I will catch you peeps later.